I started my apprenticeship with Greenwood in March of 2021. This was my first apprenticeship. This was my first ever trade job. I didn't do a pre-app. Before I became a Sparky, I started off working mostly in hospitality venues. I was working in the music industry. I've always enjoyed doing things with my hands in my free time. I have been restoring vintage furniture and things like that. So it was natural for me. I did know that I enjoyed working with my hands. The reason I chose electrical, I found that I have quite an analytical brain as much as I love working with my hands. So I wanted a trade that could challenge me both mentally and physically. Working hands-on is one of my favorite aspects of being an electrical apprentice. Is, and watching those skills develop over time has been really exciting. Doing things that, you know, even holding drills the right way and things like that, they, those skills build up so much over time and that's really exciting and really, really fun to be able to figure out your body in a different way and, and see what you're capable of has been challenging and exciting. I wanted to find something that would be a bit more sustaining, something that would interest me for a long period of time. And predominantly, I really wanted to be in an industry that was evolving and changing so that as I was learning, the industry itself was growing as well. That was something that really interested me and in especially renewable energy. It's fun being in renewable energy because every day you go home feeling like you've done something good. And I think it would be very difficult for me to move away from renewable specifically because of that now. I like the idea that we're all contributing to the environment and to the world together. So at the moment we're on a site in the western suburbs of Melbourne. We're working on a warehouse that is a two megawatt system, which is one of the biggest systems we've ever done. Definitely the biggest system I've ever seen. So some of the tasks that we have to do, the funny thing about this job is you figure out a task and then you probably are gonna do that for weeks because it's such a big site. Um, my favorite so far, everyone else on site hates it, but I love building feet. I love doing rail for some reason. I don't know why, I just love it. We've been doing a lot of tying in, a lot of earthing of cable tray, pulling cables up and obviously paneling as well. The way you work on such a large site, you don't necessarily do all of one thing at once. So we work kind of in, in grids and little patterns. Everyone thinks all we do is lift and move panels. I might be speaking off term here, but it might be a reason that women aren't so interested in this specific job because they're like, wow, my whole job's gonna be picking up heavy panels and moving it around. I found that that's actually probably about 10% of what I do. There's a lot more behind the scenes that goes into it. There's a lot more setup and figuring out your string lining and figuring out cable tray and again, rail and feed and things like that that go into it than just the panels themselves. I don't think that any gender is born with a set number of traits. So I would say that traits are transferable the same way that they're transferable from past industries that I've worked on, they're just as transferable between genders. There are definitely traits that naturally some people, regardless of gender again, have and some don't have. Uh, so it's usually gonna be working to people's strengths and weaknesses. Some of those traits that I have found useful are again, open communication, being able to talk to the people around you, uh, attention to detail, organization, largely useful for anyone in any job, really. No, just go out and do it. Go out and give it a try. If it's something that you're interested in, odds are you're gonna love doing it. Electrical for me was something that was just a thought in my mind. I thought, wow, I might enjoy doing that. And I tell you, it has been the most fulfilling job that I have ever done, hands down. I am, could not be more happy just putting myself out there might be uncomfortable at the beginning for a touch, but you soon realize that it's well, well worth it. I love Greenwood. <laughs>